Breaking news. Falana orders headsmen to do this if Sunday Ibaho continues to disturb them. <clears throat> you know, since the news of uh, San, this is a man I have great respect for uh, with regards to his, um, his position, an elder, and the way he has been speaking previously up until now with regards to national issues and how he has been given decisive and uh, the perspective of the law and how laws has not been obeyed in Nigeria. But his recent comment and his standby on position that is rather fueling people, I, I don't know what to say, honestly, with regards to uh, San Falana, is supposed to be speaking, I don't know, I don't know what to say, honestly. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let me let you know all he has said. Breaking news, Falana orders headsmen to do this to Sunday if he continues to disturb them. He has not said anything. What should be done to criminals that are killing Nigerians? Let's continue. Pretending to be a son. Do you really know what you are doing? Lots of Nigerians have questions pertaining to the ongoing rivalry between the Fulani headsmen and the Yoruba hero popularly known as Sunday Igboho. A lot of deadly event has occurred between this past week and much more are likely to happen if necessary steps are not taken. The Fulani headsmen recently left the rot of the powerful individuals as it asked the headsmen in a claim manner to vacate the southwest under a period of seven days. Various public figures who felt concerned have spoken about the matter as many gave Sunday Igboho Akudos for his responsive action. Some others spoke against it, saying he had no constitutional power to chase out herdsmen who have resided in the region for many years. Even Sheyi Makinde, the governor of your state, has promised to arrest Sunday Boho if he does not stop terrorizing the Fulani herdsmen. But he hasn't bothered about the threat they are giving to the people. The numbers of life they have taken, those that they have kidnapped asking for ransom, women that have become widows, children that have become orphans. He has not bothered to even visit the place and know what the people are going through. Recently, another prominent Nigerian who felt annoyed by Sunday Uboho's action has taken to the social media to inform headsmen to, of, their, of their rights and the thing to do if they get disturbed by the warlord. And he has not freed Showarel. He has not spoken with regards to the way Nigerian government has answered. We not hear your voice. So. Your son was first, was also uh, accused, lawsuit and the rest. We, you didn't, we not hear your voice. So. But they should kill people. You know, if it has not got into home, eh? if somebody dies, they'll say, hey, yeah, that woman don't die. Hey, yeah. But if it's your, God forbid, Somebody close to you, a parent, a brother, a sister, you will not be, you will not be saying, hey, yeah, and you move past, buy suya, go home, take a cup of uh, cold malt, drink and enjoy yourself and sleep. But if it's somebody else, you feel distance and you don't really, I mean, you can't be bothered. This is the case. Let's continue. I don't want to interfere too much. Recently, another prominent Nigerian who felt annoyed by Sondo Boho's action has taken to his social media to inform headsmen of their right. And what to do if Sunday disturb them and if they are disturbed by the warlord? Femi Falana, who is a senior advocate of Nigeria, is really annoyed as he claims Sunday Ogboho has no right to issue a vacation order to headsmen residing in southwest of Nigeria. So they should continue to kill, kidnap, Abi, you go reach your turn, don't worry. Falana didn't stop there as he also ordered headsmen to sue. No worry, they'll come take you as lawyer now. You'll fight for them. Sondo Boho to the court of law as an attempt to seek justice, assistance on the ongoing crisis. As a legal practitioner is looking for a job, don't worry. He confidently addressed Boho's action as illegal in relation to the law of the land. How many laws have you protected, have you brought to the face of the government to tell them that they are wrong? Don't, don't we have laws abiding for children to go to school, ASU not to be on strike over a period of time? The government and ASU, the body should as, as, come here, eh, 
please, sir, you are an elder. You are an elder. You are an elder. Don't let us talk. Please, sir, we respect you. Let me continue. As the legal practitioner has confidently addressed Uboho's action as a legal in relation to the law of the land, which means no citizen, either young or old, male or female, rich or poor, is above the law as provided by section of the 1999 constitution, that evil constitution that is still putting Nigeria in bondage. Let's continue. This, have you guys seen that constitution? You need to see it to be able to understand what's going on in the country where you are living. You know? Knowledge they say is power. Please type online. These things are available digitally now. The statement of Femi Falani has gotten on the social media and diverse Nigerians has been saying all sorts of things. In their own view of the matter, most people disapprove of the order of the sun, the sun given to the earthmen, as they feel Sunday Boho is fighting for the safety of every citizen since those in position of power in the nation did not deem it fit when headsmen are killing, kidnapping innocent people, asking for ransom. In case you don't know, eh, immigration officer in a do state, we reported it, right? Was adopted. She was not just adopted and went through hell. She said she went through. He said that what she went through is it can only be imagined. She's still traumatized. Go and investigate. Go on Apple Line Media under videos and listen to yourself. She was, they've gone to another level. And now that somebody is trying to put, nip it at the board so that it will not become something else. You say you are giving, you want case now. Hetman, please go and give him money so that I can judge your case. You can reside in the South. By the time you guys squeeze light out of him, probably then he will be, go back to his law books and be able to look for the law that says headsmen have no right to kill, harass, you know, people, innocent Nigerians. Nigerians, I don't know what to say. You can see at the beginning why I was really lost for words because I can't begin to put it in words. This is supposed to be an elder. See the way he's speaking. I just want you to put your own spin into this matter. We need to discuss it. Too. We cannot just uh, trivialize it or say, uh, no, 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 no. Because before you know it now, the Fulanis are even looking for, you know, a way to uh, legally... We all need to speak up because before you know it now, some persons will pick it up. He wants to partner with the North. Probably he's thinking he has political ambition at heart. Only God knows. Uh -huh. With this all speculation. Leave us a comment, please. Let's hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.